During this section, we're going to take a look at importing and exporting data into and outside of Microsoft Excel. So the first one that I want to take a look at here deals with importing data into Excel. Now we're going to take a look at perhaps one of the most common file types to import into an Excel document. This is a text file. Now there are many different types of text files that other systems, maybe Crystal Reports, Microsoft Access, or some other application would export into some type of text file. Now I want to be able to turn around and take that text file that some other system exported and bring it into my Excel environment. What we're going to take a look at here is known as a tab delimited text file. Another very common type of text file is a CSV file or a comma separated document. So first, there's an example file of a text file. You can download this from lecture number two of this course um, that contains a tab delimited text file. Uh, I'm going to use that one to import into this blank Excel document that I have open in front of you right now. And this is super simple to do, not very many steps. Take a look. So I'm going to hop up to my data menu, top of the screen. I'm going to go into the section called Get External Data. This is your import commands or your import portion of Microsoft Excel. Now there are a number of different places we can import data from. We're going to take a look at these first. We're going to take a look at from text. So I'm going to select from text. Let's open up my browse window. And I've been taken right into my exercise files. You'll, have, you'll need to navigate to wherever your text files, your example files are located at. But the one that's a part of lecture two that you can download so you can practice this is called Excel 102 Exercises. And it's a TXT file. You can see it's a text document. So I'm going to select that one. I'll hit import and this is going to take me through the text import wizard and it's really simple it's going to kind of take my hand walk me walk me through a few steps three little steps to be able to import this text file into Excel so first off with the text file there's two different types you can do a delimited text file meaning that each column you can see down below a sample of my data like you see, I have a year column, a month column, a type column, a salesperson column, and so on. And right now, it's all kind of smashed together, right? Uh, it can't, it can't really distinguish very clearly what's one column versus another. Now, you can have a delimited file where there's some special character that separates each column, like a tab or a comma or some other character. Or you can do fixed width, meaning that each column has a very defined fixed width. This first column is an inch, the second column is half an inch, and so on. So mine is delimited. It's known as a tab delimited uh, document. And I'm going to say my data does have headers, year, month, type, and so on. I'm going to hit next. Now it wants to know how is the data actually delimited? How is it separated? Well mine is tab, but you do have a few other ones just based on your document and how your data is actually delimited or separated. You can see with, with tab selected that I do get clear, distinct columns in there. If I switch it from tab, look at that, all smashed together, to something else like comma, well, if there's commas in there, it'll try to separate it, but that's not a consistent delimiter across all my data. So I won't do commas, I'm gonna do a tab. I'll hit next. Your next step, you could do a little bit of tweaking with the data itself. Uh, right now, by default, everything that gets imported in will be marked as general. So Excel will then take over and dictate what it should be. Oh, this is a date. This is numeric. This is currency and so on. I'm just going to leave it set to general. But if you'd like, you can select columns down below and specify between text and date. You can even skip columns as well. Ooh, I don't need region. Let's turn that one off. So you can do just a, just a little bit of tweaking, nothing big. So I'm going to stick with just general across the board. This is my defaults. I'll hit OK. And now it wants to know, well, where do you want to put the data? I'm just going to put it in the existing worksheet there inside A1. I'll hit OK. And I've now got my data imported from a simple tab delimited text file. Nothing big. A nice little wizard. I just went to my data tab 
from text, walk me through three little steps, find the document, explain to Excel how your data is separated, how the columns are broken up. Ooh, mine was tab, yours might be comma, whatever it is, and that's it. You've now imported a simple text file into Excel. So try this out. I've supplied the text file back inside of Lecture 2. Make sure you download that. Open up a blank document in Excel. Visit your data tab. Do from text. Go find that document and import it in.